Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Taking a look at a beer I've been waiting for for a long time. This is the latest release from Firestone Walker's Reserve Series, and this is what they're calling Double DBA, aka Double Double Barrel L. So they sort of more than doubled up their DBA, the normal one, and barrel aged it in, in what they're calling a Imperial Special Bitter. So it's a big beer. It says 12% on the bottle. Uh, it's got the new bottling online down here. This is bottled on June 15th. So it was released here at the very end of July here in San Diego. Let's get this open. I just cooled this down slightly. I'm uh, really looking forward to it. This is a beer that I've only had the Britannomyces version, which they did, which was kind of part of their sour program that kind of have going at Firestone Walker, which they ended up calling believe General Brett something like that anyway never had the regular version looking forward to it pours out a very nice clear uh, kind of amber color really really clear looking it's got a kind of a light off-white head to it ton of alcohol legs on there uh, heads definitely uh, going down carbonation is is uh, pretty moderate for uh, such a big beer. Let's get the aroma, which I can already smell. Oh yeah, I mean, you're definitely picking up some alcohol right away, but wow, it's it's got those DBA characteristics. Oh, huge dark fruit um, and light fruits too. It's got the, the cherry berry uh, raisin fig thing going on, big time. Some vanilla from the from the barrels, I, I don't know if they're using more than, they say barrel, they don't say bourbon, so they might have some brandy. I know they use their regular Union Jack barrels, just raw American oak. As I say that, I start to pick up some of that character, you just get a nice oak tannin. There's a bit of a toffee note in there, huge breadiness, so it's got kind of what you expect from an English style ale, just amplified and barrel aged, so uh, can't wait, let's dig in, cheers. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, it's actually smoother on the flavor than it was on the aroma. The aroma, I thought, had a you know a good amount of alcohol heat to it. Flavor-wise, much less pronounced. Uh, you feel it in the back end, you get a, maybe a touch on the taste, but it, it's pretty much minor compared to all the other flavors in the beer. Think about this beer, I'm not used to having a barrel aged beer that drinks this light. It drinks lighter than some of the barrel aged barley wines I've had. You can tell it has that sort of English pale ale, sort of bitter, you know, beginning to the beer, but just amplified up. Front of the tongue, you get a big sweetness. Really nice caramel notes. Sweet breadiness, probably using like a Marisot or base malt. It's got that nice toasty breadiness to it. You know, lots of nice crystal malt kind of coming through. Lends to that cherry note, sort of that generic red berry note. And then you get some of the darker kind of, as it moves midway through the palate, the sweetness starts to fade. You pick up more like barrel character. The vanilla starts seeping in a little bit, which kind of ends up on the finish as well. Some of that darker fruit comes through. Uh, it's more of a raisiny kind of character than say like plum or fig. It also has some of that marmalade kind of yeast character. You get a lot of English beers. I know they use the, they're using their house English ale yeast, which they tend to ferment really cool and keep the esters down on a lot of their other beers. But maybe for this one, they let it kind of heat up a little bit more and throw off some more uh, character because I'm getting sort of that marmalade kind of goes into stone fruit character. That's coming through on this beer, you know, for such a light beer, I mean, this is pretty light color. There's a lot of flavors going on. The barrel's not as prominent as maybe Sukaba, Abacus, and Parabola. And I think it's because they have a little more delicate beer. It's a nice kind of medium, easy drinking mouthfeel for 12%. You know, the alcohol's there. I, I'm looking forward to trying this with some age because as soon as that heat from the alcohol goes down, it's just going to develop even more. But all, already out of the gate, it's really drinkable stuff. You know, the oak's in there, vanilla, nice notes, just to really complement 
a very, very English style beer. So another well done beer from Firestone Walker. I'm giving double DBA, an easy A, it's an excellent beer. Glad I bought a bunch of this. Highly recommend going and checking it out if you can find it your way. If not, you know, try trading for it. It's another just awesome addition to the reserve series. And this is the first batch, so go check it out. It's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.